going to run through this great little quad I like, uh, my £18 quad that's uh, been submerged, as you'll see in the link that I'll put on here for you, and also been stuck up a tree for three days uh, with rain and uh, everything else, pure abandonment to it. Uh, still flies okay, um, seems pretty good. Um, as you can see, it's getting a little bit grubby around the edges, but um, it's not been treated particularly well. I think purely because it cost me £18, which is no reason not to treat it well, but I think you get a bit more confidence with it then. I'm going to show you how I put the 808 camera on it and how I managed to avoid these um, so that they don't come in shock because I find it really annoying when they are. So, First thing I do is I take out the battery cover holder, uh, which is quite a flexible, very thin, um, durable sort of plastic, I would say. And you just pop that out like that. And as you can see, it really is flexible. So pop that out of the way. And then instead of using the stock battery, which is this one, uh, which is a 600 milliamp, and that's supposed to slide in there, and then obviously the battery cover comes over and makes it all look very neat. Uh, the way I do it is, so I don't use that one, I've upgraded the batteries to these ones. Uh, I've got two or three of these. They're only about three or four pounds. Uh, I'll put the link down the bottom uh, for you again. Um, I find them absolutely brilliant. I use them on the uh, Dromeda Ominous and I shall use it on any other quads I get as well. They, they seem pretty good. Not a lot heavier, um, but they give you that extra power. Um, so I find them great. The way I do this, I tuck this in out of the way so there's nothing flapping around. And then I literally just pop this in to there. And then I find that on that bit, where the actual connector goes in is actually where the battery can sit and then if you look at that it's going to sit at an angle so hopefully you can see that um, it's going to sit at an angle and this is what's going to help the camera not look towards uh, the edge of the landing gear there so I'm going to pop that out the way for a minute and then just talk about my setup the 808 camera actually comes in this little uh, uh, polystyrene sort of thing here, very soft and uh, durable. The only thing I find with it is it could quite easily go in the bin. Um, so you, your camera's in here, but you know, that could wind up in the bin. It weighs absolutely nothing, probably not 20 grams with a whole lot. So I've marked it up heavily with 808 and 16 just in a pen just to draw my mind to it, or if the kids pick it up or anything, it just doesn't wind up in the bin. And these are key in how I'm going to attach it to the quad. This is not a scientific way of doing it. This is just the way I found works uh, and I get really good video from it. Well, I'm certainly happy with it. Uh, this stuff I use uh, to pad it out and to take away some of the vibration is basically this cloth stuff. Um, it's a sponge that you use for, for washing up. Um, I find it brilliant um, <laughs> for washing up as well, uh, but it's actually great on the quads and I've used it on the RC car um, to deaden some of the uh, impacts that are coming through and also I've used it on the Dromeda as well um, and this one, so I find it absolutely great. Just literally a pair of scissors, cut it up into however you want it. And I've found if it starts to lose its shock absorbency, it gets quite dry. Um, just a tiny little bit of water and it sort of re-energizes it and gives it a nice spongy feel again. And this is the way I actually use it. So I'm going to pop the camera back out of the way, bring the quad back in. So that sits in there quite nicely. It does fit well. I'm going to pop these bits over there and then basically assemble it. But first of all, I pop the elastic bands on. So go over one side and then the other and these are just normal ones uh, in the UK the postman brings these or leaves it on parcels and things so they're absolutely brilliant if not just any old elastic bands I've tried it with different things um, doesn't add much to the weight and uh, just does a great job that's all it needs to do so I pop these out the way like this and then I pop my system onto here and you can, it's totally adjustable as well. Look, you can slide it up and slide it down. Um, so if you're getting the edges of them, you can you can get rid of it. If you're getting the edges of the landing gear, you can get rid of it. If, if not, then you've hit it right first time. I find one, two large bits, and then one small bit at the front does me fine. Uh, and you'll see the video later. I'll, go, I'll whip this outside and shoot some more for you. Um, actually really enjoying it. And then just simply, over like that. Oops, and flick the camera, that's a load of good. 
and I just cross them over just to give a little bit of extra. I've well, this has been hit into the tree, this has gone underwater, uh, hit various things with it. This has never come off. This is really good because uh, it's not solid, it's not locked on solid, it doesn't damage anything. Um, I find it really good. The other thing, obviously, that's going to hit down when I come in to land. I tend to catch it in the air when I land, like I see most people do. So I actually use the higher landed skids. So pop those in. like that and they're all good to go the other thing I found is you can leave the battery plugged in for ages then flick on the um, transmitter and it seems to pick it up no trouble uh, and off you go and fly uh, hopefully you can see there that's definitely going to miss uh, I've had it land down no trouble at all uh, it's all protected um, the camera's going to miss so I'll take the lens cap off obviously before we go out and that's it. If you want it to move forward, obviously you've got that ability because it's all elastic. It, you can move it to wherever you like. And if you're still clipping these, because this is a seriously wide angle lens, it's the 120 one I've got on here. If you've got the old, uh, the older ones or the not the 120, obviously you probably wouldn't need all this packing. Um, but the other thing it does is take away the vibration. Okay, so there we go. Really solid. Not going to go anywhere. That's it. That's as simple as it goes. Um, it costs no money and uh, got a brilliant little quad system there. I'll go outside and do some shots and I'll put that on at the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed watching it. Uh, please subscribe and like it or give me some comments and some feedback. Yeah.